Hey folks, welcome back to Merton Hyundai and Ed's Garage. Today we are doing a quick video for a client uh, on this uh, cute little 2016 Jeep Renegade. This is the 75th anniversary model, uh, the Latitude model with the 75th anniversary package. So uh, I'm going to go over some of the features on this vehicle and the reason we're doing this video um, is because they live really far away and they want to make sure that the car is actually in good shape. So I'm going to be highlighting any scratches, dings, dents that I can find. Um, I had a look at the vehicle and so far it actually looks really good. Uh, haven't found really anything yet. That was a little bit of wax left over. So we do have fog lights on this vehicle. Halogen headlights. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, some typical like little rock chips here and there. Nothing too major. There's a couple. One right there. Along the top of the hood, front of the hood looks really good as well it's got a few tiny little ones but they're barely noticeable it's tough to see when it's so wet but it actually looks really good i'm not feeling anything weird either all right so we had this vehicle priced at 20,995. it has been reduced to 19 something i can't remember the exact number let's see a little bit more yeah that's just a bit more wax there Rim looks in really good shape. Tires have quite a bit of tread left there. Yeah, see, we actually waxed the vehicle, but the detailer missed a few spots when he was cleaning it up. Mirror looks like it's in good shape. Often we see scratches here, but that looks really good. I'm not seeing any door dings. Not feeling any door dings. Rear driver's wheel looks really good. And a little better tread on the back. So, so far it looks really good, guys. Cool tail lights on these. Let's have a look in the back. So it does have the backup camera as well. Now, never having opening up, opened up the back of a Jeep Renegade, you'll have to give me a second here. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Oh, probably under here. There we go. All right. This looks really clean. There isn't any any scratches or anything back here either. They've kept it in spectacular condition, guys. It looks really, really good. That looks good too. Alright, passenger side, wheel looks good. Don't see any dings. And it is tough to say because it's been pouring rain lately. I've got it under the cover here, but I'm not feeling or seeing anything. Yeah, maybe a little door scuff right there. It's not a dent. Unless that's just more wax. Okay, it's just the lightest scuff. It's really hard to see, but it is there. But a little bit of polish will get that out easily. Passenger side mirror looks good as well. A little bit more wax on there. I don't see any damage anywhere. And this wheel looks good too. No curbing on that wheel either. So overall, the body is in great shape. I'm not really seeing anything that pops out at me anyway. All right. Now these ones do have the removable roof panels. Let's look at the back seat area first here. Door is nice and clean, not scratched or anything. Seat backs look really good. This one does have the rubber mats. I think that's part of the 75th anniversary package as well as the uh, colored stitching. Seat's pretty clean. There's a little bit of, I don't know, maybe you can see it on the video there. I just got that wet, but uh, that probably come out with a good scrub. I don't know exactly what that is, but that's like a vinyl, so that should come off pretty easily. Otherwise, looks really good. Uh, everything's nice and dry back here, so the roof panels haven't been leaking or anything. So here's where you pop that off. 
I'm not sure exactly how it works, so I'm not going to do it right now because I've only got one hand available. So this one does have the Beats audio system. So the tweeters in the doors, as well as the mid-range speaker there, and uh, there's a subwoofer in the back. Power windows, locks, mirrors. There's your Beats audio front speaker. Yeah, I'm not sure where they put the tweeters in the front. Got the convex mirror. Height adjustable driver seat. Seat is really clean. There's no tearing or anything. Let's jump in. In the interior we have, it looks like a 4 inch screen. Heated steering wheel. Heated seats. USB port and auxiliary port there. Yeah, what do I do with the keys? We've got a uh, voice recognition button on the steering wheel. There's the key. So it is a twist key, not a push button start. So a backup camera, when we turn that on, that's what that looks like. And it does have dynamic steering lines as well. I'm not going to start the car up because I don't want too much noise in here while I'm making the video, but uh, those lines do move with the steering wheel. Alright, let's see. And Don't worry about the service engine light. That's just because I haven't started the truck, the, the vehicle yet. Right, you know what? Let's just go ahead and start it. It's fine. No, it's not too bad. It's pretty quiet. Alright. So yeah, now if we put it into reverse, You'll notice, as you turn the steering wheel, those lines actually move with the steering wheel. So it's kind of cool. A little bit of water droplet at the bottom there, in case you're wondering. All right, so this is a five-speed manual transmission. It does have a power e-brake as well, super handy. Uh, we have a four-wheel drive lock and then different terrain modes. So you just twist this little guy here. So you got mud, sand, snow, and automatic. And then as you adjust those, it actually comes up on the screen here, which is kind of cool. So there's your snow, sand, mud, and then back to automatic. And then the all-wheel drive lock shows up there, four-wheel drive lock. All right, you got auto headlights. Uh, let's see, what do we got up here? In the sun visors, you got the little pull-out section, super handy if the, if the sun's coming in from the sides lit vanity mirror lots of storage there no scratches or anything here that I can see passenger door looks really good as well heated seat is working I can feel it and then let's see if the U connect is working as well here yep so U connect is working as well so that's cool so you don't need to buy a U connect module because it's already installed okay all right well, there you have it. So that is the 2016 Jeep Renegade uh, in a nutshell. Uh, oh, cool. So the previous owner actually put a one of those magnetic mounts right here. That's a perfect place for it. I didn't even notice that was there. Uh, so basically what that means is if you, um, if you have that little magnetic plate or just a little steel plate in your cell phone, you can actually just pop your cell phone right on there. And we all know how, how legal that is here in, in BC, but... Uh, in Ontario. I think it's still legal. So, All right. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. But um, yeah, if you're the person that's interested in this vehicle, I won't say your name um, in the video, but um, I hope you like this and hope this vehicle can work out for you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone.